Got a good idea. At least I hope it's a good idea. So making on location videos is by far one of my top uh, YouTube related goals for the, uh, for the new year. And I've done this a couple times in the past and I've failed a couple times in the past. I usually uh, film the film the shoot, get back home, and there's just not enough compelling um, video uh, content to create a good story, or the the content is just uh, it's just rubbish, and I look awkward, or I'm just embarrassed to um, actually post it to YouTube, so I end up just throwing it in the trash can, and I just don't ever do anything with it. I made a commitment to myself this year to film at least six of these types of videos, and no matter what happens, just post it, Mark. Quit worrying about it, perfecting it, or worrying about all the little nuances and detailed items uh, associated with on location recording and just do it. And I, I know the way I operate then, you know, practice makes perfect. The more I do this, the better I'll get at it. So I just need to just uh, quit whining about it and just do it. So that's the plan. And there's a location. If you're familiar with the state of North Carolina, you're familiar with this iconic location. It's the Bodie Island Lighthouse. I've never been there before, but uh, recently I've really been kind of eyeing the, the weather forecast. I use the uh, the Clear Outside Weather app. I'll put the link in the description below if you wanna take a look at that, but it measures the likelihood of uh, specific cloud cover, uh, high clouds, medium clouds, and low clouds. And I'm looking for a, a, a morning, because I wanna take this image during the, uh, the sunrise. I'm looking for a morning that there's an abundance of high clouds and little to no medium and low clouds, because that's usually a good recipe for a uh, very colorful sunrise or sunset. And it looks like tomorrow morning, everything's going to line up just perfectly. There's no rain in the forecast, a ton of high clouds, and no low to medium clouds to kind of snuff out that light. So I was thinking, it's about a four and a half hour drive from my house. I was going to wake, I was going to go to bed, wake up in the middle of the night, like 1.30 and drive out there. But I knew once I'd get there, there wouldn't be much time to, to find my composition in the dark and record everything. And I would just be rushed and anxious and the, the video aspect of it all would just, would just flop. So I figured, you know, Mark, why don't you put yourself in the best situation for success and leave tonight? thought about renting a hotel room, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. I'm actually going to sleep in my truck. So a little truck camping which I've never done before. I'm looking forward to it and actually spent the last couple hours just kind of creating this makeshift camper setup in the back. I've got things to uh, put over the windows to kind of create some sense of privacy and it's going to be very cold out tonight too. So I'm trying to find ways to make sure I stay warm, but uh, something different. I'm looking forward to it. Um, and I've done a lot of uh, virtual scouting online, specifically uh, Google Earth. And uh, let's see, Bodie Island Lighthouse. And just trying to, one, figure out exactly where I'm going to actually camp, where I'm going to sleep at, and two, kind of, you know, sort out my composition because it's going to be, I'm going to arrive at the, in the dark and I'm going to wake up in the dark when I go out to actually take the image, it'll be dark. So I'm trying to figure out as much information as I can now. So here is the actual area, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Here's the main road in, and there is a large area, I should say a fairly large area to park. I'm not sure if they frown upon car camping, but I never saw anything that said I couldn't do it. So, but I guess I'm just gonna sleep somewhere right around here. And I've seen a lot of images using this path right here as a leading line up into the lighthouse, but the sun's gonna be rising in this direction. And I kind of like this boardwalk, which I think is made of wood. And I kind of want to use that as a leading line coming up to the, um, it's kind of foreground interest leading up to the lighthouse with the hopefully explosive sunrise coming in somewhere in this general direction here. So that's the plan. I have uh, a couple last minute things I just need to put together. I'm going to get some dinner and then uh, head out and uh, make my way there. So we'll uh, pick this back up from the car. This week I'm talking with Thomas Heaton, Gavin Hardcastle, and Adam Gibbs, and you're listening to the Landscape Photography Podcast. It's actually not too bad in here. Rather spacious, it's warm. Probably because I still have the car running, but uh, nevertheless, it's uh, a little more comfortable than I uh, anticipated. I'm going to get some shut eye and uh, get after it first thing tomorrow morning.
actually not too bad. So the forecast has changed just a little bit. So look, there's a little bit more cloud cover now right around sunrise. Not a substantial difference, but uh, a little bit. Should still be fine though, hopefully. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, bundle up and get out there and see what we got. So we're out here at the Bodie Island Lighthouse, Cape Hatteras, North Carolina, and I, it's looking like it'll be a hopefully a pretty good sunrise. There's uh, might be a little too much cloud, <laughs> maybe, but there's uh, there's definitely an abundance of clouds, and I would honestly rather it be uh, probably a little more cloudy than no clouds at all. You can work with clouds. So I'm just kind of refining my composition right now. Here's the first uh, first couple test shots right here. You can kind of see the composition a little bit better now with the boardwalk leading up to the uh, the lighthouse and the uh, place of lighthouse in the upper right hand third of the image. I kind of like the I rather like this composition, but now that it's getting a little bit lighter out, I can kind of show you what I'm working with here. As long as we can get these clouds up here to catch fire, unfortunately there's not really a gap anywhere. I mean, I guess there's a gap right there, but I don't think the sun's coming up over there. I think it's coming up more to the left. But um, you can see that uh, the clouds are starting to catch some of the light up there, so we should be in for something pretty special here. I usually just start off with some test exposures just to kind of get the get the composition down pat and just see what it looks like in the in the you know the first initial shots usually like 30 second exposures because it's so dark out but you know as the light slowly comes up the, the uh, length of the exposure slowly starts to, to decrease and that's kind of kind of how I work out my progress or process all the way up to the point where the light's good and I'm taking actual uh, images so right now we're at uh, 10 seconds f11 ISO 100 and uh, just a few moments ago, we were at a 30 second exposure, so it kind of shows you how quick the, uh, the sun is actually coming up. Nice, it's coming together, it's looking good. The sun's coming up. Best part is, I'm the only one here. If anybody showed up, this entire on location vlog would be a complete failure. It would instantly stop. So, what I did is I actually counted the, the seconds that the, uh, the lighthouse lights up in between rotations. It's like around 20-ish seconds. Just that way I can time my exposure to be when the actual lighthouse is lighting up. This is what we're working with right now. I'm focus stacking and taking an image for the lighthouse and then another image right around here on the boardwalk and then another one kind of right here in the immediate foreground just to be safe. Well, it happened. people showed up. So now I feel a little more awkward. <laughs> it's all good though. Everything is starting to come together now. I'm going to put this down and grab these shots. As you can see the clouds are starting to catch the color now. And I'm just taking some uh, some last minute shots here while well, the light is still good. Well that's probably gonna be a wrap. It didn't last long, but I think we got I think we got what we came here for. So uh, I'm 
glad I brought my, brought my laptop. I'm gonna go back to the uh, the truck real quick. I think I'm gonna take a look at these the photo I think I got because I I think I only got one keeper with the with the light right and the lighthouse lit and without the people in it. I think I got one, and I'm just praying that it was in focus and everything. And there's no way I can drive all the way home without knowing. So um, I'm going to uh, pack up, go back to the truck, and uh, check it out. Hopefully it all worked out. All right, moment of truth. Hopefully we got the uh, we got the shot. That would be a ton of work. Driving here, camping in the truck in the cold, all to get one shot that I didn't even get. But I got the faith. It's gonna happen. It's loading right now. Let's see. Hopefully we got uh, hopefully we got what we need. We'll find out here shortly. Now I know that wasn't the smoothest transition, but the video clip I had uh, recorded for the next scene was just completely out of focus and unusable. And I had some B-roll of me getting in and out of the car and driving home I was gonna overlay, but I figured, you know what, I'll, I'll just save everybody some time. But I wanted to make sure that I showed you the raw image and the final edited image from the trip. So this is the, the raw photo that I selected as the best one. Uh, it had the lighthouse lit, and it also had what I believe to be pink, uh, the peak color. There wasn't an image that had the uh, the pinks and the magentas and uh, the yellows all going you know that high in the sky as this image does right here. So I believe this was the the peak of the actual sunrise. Now here is the uh, the final edited version right here, which I'm very happy with. Let me turn down the brightness here. It looks a little bright, but I'm really happy with the way this turned out. Some of the things that I did, I did a lot of dodging and burning through here just to really emphasize this kind of an arrow effect that I thought this uh, marshy area had. I like the way that it looked like it was pointing directly towards the lighthouse. And here you can see right here that um, I added a lot of dodging and burning through here to just to really bring that out. It was very dark. And I also removed all the bird poop from the boardwalk, as you can see right here. And I really emphasized this, um, the highlights from the, uh, the rising sun as it was hitting the lighthouse. I wanted to really bring that out because that's one of my favorite parts of this image. And I also actually brightened up the, I guess you call it the light bulb of the lighthouse. And you can see the difference here. And I really like that as well. But overall, I'm really happy with the way the image turned out. I was a little leery on the composition at first because I thought that it seemed a little bit imbalanced, almost like it was leaning in one direction. But I've come to the conclusion that I think that this bush and the amount of color in the sunrise here really kind of balances out the scene a little bit for me. Plus, I like this uh, little water, little bit of water right through here kind of balances the left side as well. The entire image felt kind of heavy on the right side at first, but um, it's, it's really growing on me now. So I'm pretty happy with the way that this turned out. I... Um, what else? I did one more thing I wanted to mention. Oh, I applied a slight Orton effect right through here. I don't like how much detail is in the clouds right through here. So I applied a slight Orton effect just to kind of soften that area up all through here. It really kind of just gives that real soft painterly look, which I really like in my photos. So overall, I love the way it turned out. Here again is the, the uh, raw image. And this right here is the final edited version. So uh, I would say that um, I know it was a lot of work for one image, but for me personally, it was totally worth it. I would do it a hundred times over again. So uh, I, uh, I had a great time making this video and I really appreciate you guys watching. If, uh, if you have any questions, uh, definitely just leave me a comment below and I guarantee I will get back in touch with you and I will see you all next week. Bye.